Let's have a look at the basic differences between the two. So it's either formed with an ing after the base form or an ed. So it's cooking or cooked. They can both be used as an adjective or a verb. So the present participle doesn't have any unique forms, only the past participle does. Both can be adjective, so let's have a look at that. It can be cooking food or cooked food. They both describe what something is like. So the present describes what it, something is like right now and the past something is like permanently. So for example, a cooking food is only cooking as long as it's cooking and the cooked food is uh, cooked food forever. Let's have a look at how they are used as verbs. So this one is really easy. They are used in either progressive or perfect tenses. So the present one is used in the progressive tenses and the past one is used in the perfect tenses. So you just need to know which tense you're trying to use. Now let's have a look what sort of spelling changes there are. So the rules for consonant doubling are the same. For example, stopping and stopped, in both cases, the P's are doubled. So you just have to remember these rules once and you can apply them for both participles. Uh, you don't have to learn them twice.